Um, in terms of user fees, I wanted to uh, give you a couple of comments on user fees. I'm assuming that you have um, a number of fees in towns. Most municipalities do have a number of fees that they charge for a lot of different things. When you're looking at when you're looking at user fees, the, the kind of the two spectrums are the two ends of the spectrum are whether um, it's a specific service or it's a public service. So the, the kind of the two ends that I use, for example, are water and sur water and sewer is very specific, and usually in those cases, you know, the people that are receiving the water or you know the water or sewer services, they're paying those water sewer fees it's covering the full cost of those operations. Whereas a service such as police and fire, that's a public benefit. It's not something that you're going to charge a user fee for. So that's sort of the, the two spec, you know, the, the two ends of the spectrum. But there's a lot of things in, in between. And I think, what was the one you were talking about? Oh, your recreation fees. Recreation, right? recreation fees. fees could certainly fall in, uh, in between. The most important thing is, as I think the very first slide that Steve showed said, we're not a home rule state. So the first thing you have to do when, you, when there's any fees being considered is you have to say, is there a statute that says we can charge this fee? Because you can't just decide to charge any fee just because the, the town wants to charge a fee. So on this, whatever color you would call this piece of paper, um, we have listed out the different kinds of fees that are authorized by statute that municipalities um, are allowed to, um, to have fees for this. After you've determined that there can be a fee, after the town's determined there can be a fee, then you have to ask what is the appropriate level of cost recovery? Is this something that should be 100% reimbursed? So it's completely covered by the fees. So, for example, with the water and sewer, you want all your direct costs, your indirect costs, your depreciation costs. You want everything included in there so that you're recovering all the costs associated with that. Or is it something that maybe having a town subsidy may make sense? Now, as Steve said, in his town, he's looking for um, the rec department to be fully 100% reimbursable. Some towns may look at the rec department and say, you know, we think it's important that we offer some senior programs and we don't necessarily care if we recover 100% of the cost because we think that's a good service to provide to our elderly citizens. So maybe for those senior programs, recovering 50% of the cost is sufficient, whereas some of the adult programs, like the, you know, the, the, the trip to the Boston Flower Show, yeah, we want to co cover, we don't want to be subsidizing that. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a... a you can have a spectrum of, again, even within a, your own department, of where these fees should be and what is the goal. 100% reimbursement, sub-subsidy, or completely subsidized. And what's important in looking at those fees, though, is understanding what is the cost. You know, you got to understand what the total cost is before you can make the decision of do we want the whole thing covered and reimbursed or do we want to have some subsidy. Um, and then where is this money going to be accounted for? Is it just going to flow through the general fund as just a general fund revenue, a general fund expenditure, or is it going to go through a special revenue fund or a revolving fund if it's allowed as a revolving fund? 